Welcome guys, welcome to this video. So in this video I want to uh, fade out this content so when the user unchecks everything instead of going straight away out it should uh, fade out and fade in. So we are going to use view transition so there is this link in the description you can check for the view transition. Um, here is an example that I want to discuss with you first before adding that. So what exactly happens is that uh, currently we have here a P statement you can see hello and we are just setting the show true and false and we are changing this on click of a button so when you click it goes away comes uh, back because it is changing each time if show is true it is going to turn it to false or uh, if it is false it is going to turn it to true now as we are hiding this element on click so we can put it inside a transition tag and we need to provide a name to that tag. So we are providing here a name fade. Now, when you provide a name fade, you can provide any name here. Now here in the Vue.js side, they provide a name fade. So here you can define how you want this transition to work. So if the, when the user clicks and your, uh, com this tag is hiding, so interactive when the, the state is active, and when it is leaving the active state so you can set some transition there and when it is enter to leave then you can set opacity zero so that is how you set uh, the uh, transition you can read more about it on this particular page i am leaving the link in the description so basically when you click on the button it goes into the hiding state and then comes back we are just uh, saying that interactive when the state is active what do we need to do when active state is about to leave what are we going to do when it enter the leave to what are we going to do so we can define css like that so in our case here if you see here we have only one text single text so uh, we can use transition without any problem in that case but in our case we have multiple components here so we want to fade uh, and uh, uh, bring back all these uh, boxes so to do multiple components we use transition group so to do that what we're going to do i'm going to open the text editor here and in our text editor if i go to the uh, front page the front page is where we're going to write it because here we are looping through so all the coach items are getting looped through here so i what i'm going to do i'm going to uh, create a transition so transition and it's going to be transition group and we need to close it as well just like transition in transition group as well you need to provide uh, the name so i'm going to provide the name and as that we uh, we want to fade it out so we want i give it the name fade you can give any name you like now which tag it is working on you can define that too and here also i want class to be right so basically now as we define the name fade we can provide some css to it and that css is going to work so here at the bottom uh, in the same front page component i'm going to write style and inside the style we're going to say dot fade the name of the class that we have here that we provided now uh, the name then we say enter active so when it is going to start to fade uh, uh, disappear and uh, the fade leave active okay so this is the state so i just want simple uh the way it was done there we can use the similar way so what i do is simply go here and we use this transition just the way they did it i uh, yeah they are doing it half a second you can even change the time if you want to so for this particular example i just gonna pass this way now then we are going to say here fade enter okay and for this i want opacity to be zero because we want to hide it completely 
So it is going to be our opacity zero. It won't be visible. Now then we have fade leave two. And here I want opacity to be zero and transition the same. All right, so I save this. Now go here, we get, okay. Uh, we are not using this, a simple style tag. And refresh our page here. So if I uncheck all these, you can see that faded, uh, it fade out. When I click here, it fades in. So this is how you add the uh, transition. Now, for example, if I change this transition to a transition group to transition and here too and then I go here and refresh uh, you get the error transition can only be used on a single element use transition group so we have multiple elements that's why we are using transition group otherwise if it was a single element we would use a transition Hope uh, this video helped you. Uh, check the link in the description for more details about transition. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video. Bye.